Uh, number three, I think we started off with how to predict and present an appealing social media ROI. We talked about our case at Hallmark Channel as far as uh, Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, our three main vehicles that we use uh, on our social media. Uh, reach, demo, and the value of those, those users are the three main things that we use to kind of predict and measure our uh, social media ROI and present that to our, uh, our C-level executives. Uh, number six, what role does corporate values and cultures play? It plays a big role for us. I know the Hallmark Channel, all you guys probably know Hallmark, what it stands for. Uh, family, you know, safe, celebration. So we, we, don't, we don't separate that. We tweet out, Facebook out, post, things like that. So it plays a big role as far as uh, our social media and how we go about our strategies with that. I guess we came to the conclusion that social media is both an opportunity and a challenge when it comes to corporate culture because on one hand um, it's a great way to establish a tone but on the other hand because there can be so many employees and so many outlets for them to communicate independently it's difficult to maintain consistency um, but ultimately we think that it's important for cultures to be expressed through other social media so you've got you know Adam told us a company like IBM which not only is almost half a million employees, but also is a very hardworking and risk-averse and independent culture versus a smaller company like maybe Zappos, which is more lighthearted and carefree. Those are um, attitudes uh, that need to come through all the social business strategies for a company to be seen as transparent and for the brand to be interpreted as, I guess, authentic by consumers. For CEOs, you have to speak their language and get into their world. You can speak the new technology media and they might think it's cool, but they, they want to see exactly how their goals will be met with it. So you learn their language, you learn their language and what they want and how you can give them that ROI. Uh, underlie the understanding of what your company's or your organization's culture and values are is the best predictor of success. Um, is if you can marry the tactics that you have with what your culture and your culture and your business uh, is really all about, um, and the failures that I've seen in myself and in others often come, you know, through misinterpreting what our own values and culture are. We have managing expectation, um, laying out almost like if you were to build a house, <clears throat> if you're going to get a house contract to build, you know what the house is supposed to look like before you build the house and then you lay out the, bl the blueprints and you hire the builder and you know what it's going to cost. And I think a lot of companies are doing social media, they're not even doing blueprints, they're hiring a builder They and they just build something and then the customer wonders what that is or it's not like what they envision. Now you're talking about my contract. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, I don't know. There's